Hello. Happy Thanksgiving. It's the 23rd of November. It's Thursday. It's Thanksgiving. There's two turkeys in the back garden, but they're safe from slaughter because they belong to me. And they've been pardoned by President Biden. It's Vlog Night! Oh, God, the hits just keep on coming. Well, <clears throat> uh... Oh, there's something I just didn't, I, that happened about a week and a half ago. And I just couldn't even bring myself to talk about it. And that was my visa status. Um, it's not a question. I've, I'm legal. It was just, uh, basically, I have to reapply um, to the settlement scheme. Uh, the deadline is passed, but you can still submit a late application. I've got a solicitor working on it, but she doesn't think there's much to worry about. But it was just when I heard that, it was just like, oh, God, again, that, you know, what I went through 10 years ago just came flooding back. And she assures me, she's like, no, it's not that. <clears throat> um, try not to worry about it, although I you know you're going to worry about it. It's that you've got that looming over your head, but I think it's going to be fine. Uh, it, it, they can't make me leave the country because I've been here for too long anyway. But um, anyway, that is, uh, yeah. <laughs> everything else that's happened this year with the job at uninspired and um you know with what happened there and then finally starting to get on my feet again and now this uh and also with andre uh having to look after him and then um sunday i went to a stick fighting tournament and it was just a disaster. I just shouldn't have even bothered turning up. Um, I I wasn't happy about the divisions, but I yeah you know, I said okay fine you know that is, that's the way it is so that's the way it goes. I'm gonna get get in and fight. Um, I felt that they kind of in a way probably not intentionally set me up to fail. Uh, they were like well you know we'll put you again we'll put you against somebody similar age similar weight. Well, they didn't do either. <laughs> um, I lost. The girl that fought me fought very well. <clears throat> I lost, but I got injured uh, and possibly fractured thumb. I wasn't upset about getting injured. That can happen. Um, that that you, you understand, you take that risk that an injury can happen. Um, and it's fine, ain't fun, but it's, it's, it's okay. Um, what I was really not happy about was that there was just sort of this lackadaisical attitude toward it. Um, walked out of the ring, the person that was cornering my opponent didn't even come up. You know, you usually go up and say well done to the opponent, whether they win or lose. Didn't even come up. Um, he was one of the tournament, tournament organizers. And um, somebody I've trained with, somebody I've had a whole lot of respect for and admire and um doesn't even come up and say hey good match and would have seen that i was struggling very badly with my arm and my hand and then i went over to i thought you know suddenly i just noticed i can't close my hand it's getting worse i was like oh my god um i, I can't go through with the rest of it i mean it was just throbbing and um i did it didn't really start swelling that much then but i mean even now i can't close it but anyway um, I went to pack my gear up because I thought, well, this is pointless. You know, if you, even if the swelling does come down a little bit and you do pad it, which you get hit again. Um, struggled to get my gear packed up, uh, to do it with one hand. Went up to the desk to find, uh, the other organizer that was manning the desk and he wasn't there. He uh, stepped off to do something and then went back a bit later and, um, he was there and I said, I'm sorry, I, I don't think I can, um, I, I can continue. Um, I, I think I have to go to the hospital and get it x-rayed. And it was like, oh, okay, let me have a look at it. And, um, you know, he's medically qualified. He just kind of played around with it and um, it was sore. And he's like, yeah, um, I think you've got really hit hard on the joint, which isn't nice. Um, I sit down. If it doesn't get better in a few days, get it x-rayed. I'm like, I'll wait a few days, but I haven't had it x-rayed yet. So I haven't had the chance, <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I, and he says, you know, get a nice pack on the way out. 
And I just thought, okay, why don't you have a nice pack here? And why aren't you getting one for me? <laughs> um, I left, I had my kit back over one shoulder and my small bag over the other. And I get, I start to head out. And then one of the guys that has like a stand at the tournament comes to me and goes, hang on a minute, you know, here, let me help you. Um, and um, he says, look, he says, Gretchen, if you stay till the end of the tournament, I'll take you home. And I said, I, I'm sorry, I can't stay. I'm in a lot of pain. I really think I need to go to the hospital. And um, he was like, okay, well, I'll take you to the station uh, in Northampton, the bus station. I thought, okay, I'll get a bus, I'll go home, I'll drop my shit off, and then I'll go um, to the hospital. Well, um, and they gave me a nice pack as I was leaving uh, at the gym, one of those crushable ones. I, I got that on there, and that stopped the swelling for a while. Those only last maybe an hour or two. And um, unfortunately, well, he took me to Northampton, and then... Um, couldn't go up the street to the station. So they had to stop like one street before. So I had to walk up to the station, which wasn't his fault. And, um, you know, we didn't know that. And he was actually the only person that actually sort of offered to help do much. <laughs> and, um, well, anyway, got on the bus, the bus breaks down between Wellingborough and Kettering. So we have to wait an additional 30 to 40 minutes for a bus to come to get us. And then finally another bus comes, I get home, the ice pack by this point has lost its sort of effectiveness. I pull it off and it just starts to balloon. And I was like, oh shit. So I get home, um, I phone the hospital, A&E, and I say, look, how long of a wait is it tonight? And they said, put it this way, it was about 86 people in front of you. I thought, Seriously. And they said, we really can't tell you how long it is until you're triaged, but it's busy. So <clears throat> I thought, well, you know what? I'm going to wait. I went to the supermarket. I tried to get another ice pack. I couldn't find an ice pack. They didn't have any. Pharmacy was shut. Got a bag of peas, got a hot towel from the kitchen, wrapped it up, stuck it on there. And that's, that was it for Sunday. Um, Monday, incredibly sore. Um, had it bandaged up, Andre bandaged up for me, and um, went to work, couldn't move it at all. Uh, Tuesday, it was a bit better. Now it is a bit better, but I still can't close it. I can just close it. And um, the swelling's gone down along the outside, but I can't put any pressure on it. If I try even just to pull something, I can't even pull a bag of Chris apart with this thumb. It just kills. So, yeah not good. And like I said, I really wasn't upset about being hurt because like we say we accept that it can happen. It was an accident. It wasn't done intentionally. My opponent didn't fight dirty. She, it just happened. Um, it was the fact that they just didn't seem to care. And I, you know, had to make my way home on my own pretty much. They didn't, ask if I got home okay, if I was okay, how I've been doing, when a lot of people from the tournament have actually messaged me, which is very sweet, to say, you know, are you all right, and how's the hand doing, and, you know, is the, are you feeling okay, and, you know, just wanted to see how you're doing, and how you're feeling, and, and I didn't get really much of that from them, um, only told off for what I put on Facebook, and I feel like I had every right to say that, so anyway, um, <clears throat> that was, that was Sunday. Uh, yeah, Monday was Monday. I went to work. I am actually really enjoying working at the college. Um, it's a nice place. They have asked me to apply for the, for the role. Um, they do have two A-level English roles available. One is, uh, English language, the other is English lit. They say you can apply for both if you want. My profession, my preference is literature. Um, but like I said, like if I get one, I could do maybe elements of both. Cause you're going to have to hire two people. One person can't do both jobs. It's just be impossible. So yeah, you know, I, was like, I just don't want to fill out a second application. <laughs> okay. This is a pain in the butt. Uh, right. So I'm really enjoying working there. Uh, Tuesday, uh, basically I've been not doing any training. I can't do any training with this hand. Um, the only working out I've done is running up to the allotment, looking in on the geese, 
Um, I got on the exercise bike yesterday for a half an hour. I was going to try to get on tonight and I'm just too tired. I had to go shopping for Andre and for, for me, cook dinner, make it, prepare his food for the day because he still is hobbling around a bit. Uh, you know, he's starting to move around a little bit more. So he's doing a little bit of the shopping uh, during the day. And um, but I'm still doing all the cooking and everything else because he can't really, you know, in the kitchen, it's one thing to be able to stand, but he can't bend and get stuff in that. He uh, said he boiled some eggs today and that was about all he could manage because everything's right there on the counter. Uh, so he's getting there, but I'm looking forward to being off 1950s uh, housewife duty quite soon. So that's the vlog. It's not a very happy one. Like I said, half an hour on the bike. Uh, I'll try to do some tomorrow or maybe Saturday. Uh, the goals this weekend are on the allotment to muck out the goose shed again um, as best I can with this hand. I was actually up there uh, yesterday. Um, the nice thing about this job is I do get to work from home on a Wednesday and the year 13s are in their mock exam. So they didn't have their online session. So I was finished at 10 past one and, um, just sped up to the allotment quickly. And I was able to do a little bit of raking as long as I didn't, you know, pull with this hand too much. So hopefully by Sunday, I'll be able to do a bit more. I've got to get the back here mucked out cause it's getting really bad back there. Um, I might have to ask Ryan to help me. We'll see. We'll try it. We'll get as much as we can done. That was going to be the project for Saturday. Just the, the common bit, the houses, the back, all bagged up, all new straw put down. And we'll see if we can make it happen. And then Sunday allotment. Uh, and then hopefully Sunday go to training, even if it's just to take notes. Uh, and I, I mentioned it to Andy. He says, you know, you are, you can come and just take notes if you want to. Don't feel like you have to participate if you're injured. And I was actually going to try to get up there today, but I was just, by the time I got dinner made for Andre and me, it was just too late and I was tired. But I am going to try to go Sunday, even, well, I am going to go Sunday, even if it is just to take notes. I'm going to try to participate. I might just try to participate with the right hand and if there's any punching just with the elbow as far as grappling I don't think I'll be ready yet might have to postpone the grading if I do I do it's just the way it is right so next week let's hope it's better let's just try to onwards and upwards and get things better everybody have a fantastic weekend I think Saturday's supposed to be lovely Sunday but it's supposed to get cold so it's supposed to get below zero tonight. Hope the hose doesn't freeze. Have a good one, everybody. Ciao.